Welcome to Authorized Version Bible Thumper Ministries, dedicated to the gospel of Jesus Christ and preaching and teaching the word of God from the preserved and fallible King James Bible of 1611. So why is the Bible important? Well, simply put, the Bible is God's book. The King James Bible is God's book. It tells you the truth of mankind, that mankind is wicked, rotten, wretched, and depraved. Not good. Vain religions out there try to teach a whole different thing. They try to teach that mankind can overcome evil. He can overcome and be a good person and therefore go somewhere nice when he dies. You know, a, a common thing in Buddhist belief is that they obtain nirvana and they stop being reincarnated and all this different stuff. And it's just nothing more than vain religion. Not one is good. The Bible says, no, not, not one is good. No, not one. There's none that understand it. There's none that seeketh after God. They're all gone out of the way. They're all together become unprofitable. There's none that doeth good. No, not one. So you see that mankind is just not good. And that's the truth that the Bible tells. I mean, mankind is wicked and needs a savior. I mean, all the wars, all the different things that mankind has done to each other, thieving, murdering, whatever it is you say, that's the truth of mankind. And the Bible tells that. The Bible doesn't pull any punches. God doesn't pull any punches. Simple. God wrote the book. In 2 Peter 1.21, we read here, 1 verse 21, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So you see, God wrote the book. And also, there is over 100 fulfilled prophecies in this book and counting. <laughs> and counting. There are still prophecies yet to be fulfilled. The second coming of Christ uh, things related to the Millennial Kingdom, a lot of doctrines you will start to learn as a new Christian. And only it's the only book in the world with fulfilled prophecies. Look here at verse 19 of 2 Peter. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. A more sure word of prophecy. No other vain religion out there attempts prophecy. Simple, they don't. They, and if they do, they don't get it right. They can get it completely incorrect, and it just invalidates the religion and shows that it's, that it's a fake, that it's false. This book is living. This book has nothing but fulfilled prophecies. This book is the only one that gets prophecy right. Again, that is why the Bible is important. And America is based off this, this book. America, the street signs out there, you see a lot of street signs that are named after places in this book. There's places out here in America called Antioch and things like that. They derive their names from this book. And also our laws as well. Our laws come from this book. Our, our uh, law system is based on this book, or at least it used to be. Nowadays it's a little bit different, but in the old days it was based off of this book right here. Our laws, our law and order all came from this. Again, and also the Bible tells you how to go to heaven. The Bible tells you how to escape eternal hell and go to heaven to be with the Lord when you die. The Savior that came, the Messiah, Jesus Christ, came to this earth, lived a perfect, sinless life for you. And, and, he, mer and he merited salvation for you. If you would come to him, if you come in a broken, contrite spirit, as in repentant, Godly sorrow over your sins. You realize your sins are sending you to hell. You realize there's nothing you can do to save yourself. And you come to the cross and you put your faith in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for your personal sins against God. You trust solely in that. You put your faith in that gospel and he saves you. He will save you. Amen and amen and amen. And that is why the Bible is important. So that being said, that is the end of this video. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for watching Authorized Version Bible Thumper Ministries. James chapter 4 and verse 14. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, 
For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. The gospel is this. Romans chapter 3 verses 10 to 12. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Friend, you are not a good person. Romans chapter 3 verses 19 to 23. Now we know what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Have you ever lied, cheated, fornicated, or even killed? James 2 verse 10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. You have sinned against a perfect, holy God. The punishment for sin is eternal hell. Matthew chapter 5 verses 29 to 30. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 11 Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Do you fear God? Are you sorry for your sins? Are you desperate for salvation? A new life? 2 Corinthians 7.10 For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. The Good News 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 through 4 Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus died, was buried, and rose again the third day for your personal sins against God, so that you can be justified. Romans 3 verse 24 Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 10 verses 9 to 13 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call on the Lord, ask for the free gift, and receive the new birth today. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new.